From car picnics to complete cancellations to carrying on as usual. According to all of these tweets and these emails, most of us already have a handle on our holiday plans. Emma May. Dr. Mary Jo Kreitzer among us. I have a new grandbaby that was born in April, lives out in Virginia, but it's just not worth the risk. And that's coming from a grandma who just happens to have a PhD in public health and serves as the director of the Earl Bakken Center for Spirituality and Healing at the U of M. This is a really vulnerable time. Dr. Kreitzer says it's clear the latest COVID surge demands changes in how and if we gather. And she begins by asking everyone to beware the overconfidence of a negative COVID test. The truth is, actually, you can be positive, you know, the next day. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, that can take a full 14 days to develop COVID symptoms that would result in a positive test. I think it can really give, you know, a false sense of security. Tests aside, Kreitzer urges everyone to decide for themselves their holiday approach, then simply share with their family. People just have to establish boundaries. Just, you know, s simply explain that you're going to be, you know, making decisions within those boundaries. Keep it short, keep it sweet, maybe even keep it to a scratch. Right, thank the person for the invitation and just say that you're avoiding in-person gatherings due to COVID-19 right now. Nothing more needs to be said. Short, simple, direct. So says the PhD in public health with a higher title of grandma. So I think people just have to really be patient and really recognize this year is gonna be different. Carla Holt, Care 11 News.